The UTM RTR, a 72 volt, 50 mile an hour dirt rocket. Every adult's dream bike, but sadly, we can't afford it. So in this video, we're building the closest thing to it. Alright, so here's the bike. It um, It's pretty beat up, as you can see by the seat, um, the plastics, and the overall dirtiness of the bike. But I think it has plenty of potential, just based on the amazing specs of these battery, motor, and controller. I don't know if I'm going to be up upgrading the controller in this video, because it's kind of a not-as-necessary part when you're dealing with this type of razor. But I think it's definitely an essential thing to upgrade in the future. But for now, let's get into the teardown. So I just start by tearing down the plastics and anything else unnecessary for the build. Everybody knows how to tear down a bike, so let's skip this part. Since this is a cheap Amazon battery, I decided to wrap it in carbon fiber. I got forged carbon fiber wrap, and this is just me peeling off the old sticker on it that falsely said 60 amp hours. So yeah. So I tried to make something cool out of tossing the box, which didn't work out. And then I crashed out on the box and started punching it, which wasn't the best idea. But here's the gas tank. Here it is. Voila. You might not know what this is, so we're going to unwrap it first. Three days later. Alright, so I started working on the drivetrain now because the chain wasn't on and chain tensioner was not aligned. I started by using the chain breaker to break the old chain that was on the sprocket. Then installed the new chain and cut the chain to length with the same chain breaker. Lastly, I installed the master link to connect the chain. I then use the same technique I used in my first razor build um, from Pat Outdoors to spray paint the rims. And here's how they turned out. In the meantime, I also spray painted the frame, this metallic aluminum silver. That looks pretty good. With the swing arm installed, I finished assembling the bike. Alright, so here is the final product before we got to the interesting and exciting part. Alright, so I got all the plastics um, unboxed. And there's the seat. And I just want to show you guys something cool about the seat. It's not just a CRF 50 seat. It's like CRF 50 seat with this beautiful leather seat cover. Makes it feel so nice. And I mean, look at that on the bike. That just looks so insane. Um, and then here we got the plastic. So let's unwrap these.
next up we gotta put together the plastics I'm just gonna skip over this part because it's self-explanatory I did it without instructions and I'll also have instructions linked down below by the way shout out to premium torque who sponsored the video today they sent out these plastics the handlebar kit that I'm about to install too and they have plenty more stuff including a swing arm kit and also some apparel I'll have their website linked down below along with the instructions to the plastics. I would like to mention that there is some drilling involved um, based on the fork you have for the front fender. It's just the common thing where you have to drill out a hole for the stem bolt. The instructions include information about this. Here I am sitting on the bike, and you'll notice it's pretty short, and also the gas tank doesn't fit properly, and here's why. To save you from watching an hour of cutting, I'll just sum it up. You have to cut the gas tank in half along the line where the gas tank was put together. It's just because it needs to be lower and fit flat to the frame, and with the full gas tank, it doesn't fit that cleanly. After zip tying the gas tank onto the frame, I can perfectly fit the plastics on and screw them to the gas tank. decided to make a pretty crucial modification by cutting off these side fairings and it made the bike look so much more aggressive even without a lifted shock. I also made this DIY foot lock out of just a regular axle peg. guys check out the bike we are back officially back in business yeah okay all right let's take a look at the beautiful bike we have in our hands right here Check that out. It's kind of very <coughs> tilted down because um, the kickstand is a bit short now. But it's looking beautiful. We got this awesome flow throttle from Premium Torque. I put the key switch down here actually because um, I actually have a uh, battery percent display on the battery. And this just looks too cool. Um, also off camera, we got the brakes dialed. Like, if, I can't tell if, I don't know if you can tell, but like, that's just absolutely feels amazing. Let's click it into go and pull out. So it does have this really weird tune on it. I really hope I can fix that because it just feels terrible but aside from that it's amazing although there is something else the wheel is not fully aligned I don't know why but 
hopefully that's fixable but for now let us get into a little top speed run hopefully we can be breaking that speed limit right there i doubt we will reset top speed let's go thing I don't have a three-speed switch because um, I just don't like that and I thought I didn't need it but I am going to have to hardwire the controller into third speed because yeah our top speed was 27.5 which isn't really the hoped for and expected top speed but it's not bad so Let's try something cool right here. All right. So what I did was I made this little bridge connection here. Um, we're just gonna test every possible combination, which is just both outsides and then outside, inside, outside, inside. And if none of them work, that'd be kind of disappointing. Hopefully we get it the first try. Although we would have no way of knowing until we try them all. Although I'm pretty sure the guy before me said highest he got was 40 or so. So unless we get a controller that um, gets it higher. Although this is already feeling so much more aggressive. And the tune is a lot better. Alright, so... We're just gonna wait right here for a second. Pull out the phone. Three, two, one, go. All right. So that also only hit around 28, right? 27.6 let's do a different uh, combination at zero three two one go oh it feels way faster 37 there is how you get your top speed test test and 41.6 miles an hour Notice the bike slows down quite a lot better with the um, um welded freewheel because it just actually adds some resistance. Yeah, no, this is not wheeling anytime soon without a new controller. I mean, the throttle is a very amazing throttle. Shout out to Premium Torque. It looks amazing and feels amazing. It's so smooth, but. The controller definitely can't wheelie this bike at all. Maybe Saronsar could do it. I can't. But with that, let's end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching the whole video to the end. And see you in the next video. Peace.